Ooh. Oh yeah, that's that set right there. Hey. Come on. What's up everybody? It's your man Ken. And as you can see, I was getting a little bit carried away. But welcome to another exciting episode of In The Lab. The Lab is where we showcase the hottest artists with an emphasis on the recording process, featuring the music, the home studios, the one-on-one -on -one interviews, and of course, the lab itself. I'd like to let you know that on today's show, we're probably going to get some exclusive behind the scenes footage with Dr. Dre. Yeah, king of the West Coast himself with Snoop Dogg. Can you believe that? And then after that, we're going to go and check the techniques. That's where we're going to break down all the ins and outs of the studios. And then we're gonna go hang out with my man Marley Maul in his in-home studio. I'm actually here right now, but he's up back somewhere doing something. He don't know that I'm in here. I'm waiting for him, and I think I messed up something, touched the wrong buttons. That's why all this is flashing and everything. But while I go ahead and try to figure out what I did, let's check out this video, all right? Right here, in the lab. But it just might not be that easy for you. I got a crew of bitches, a whole slew of bitches. Detroit, Kansas City, and some St. Louis bitches. Yes, I'm international, into cash and hoes, and I dress very fashionable. So, pace your patience, I play with a bitch mind, like the Matrix. I practice safe sex, I love my latex. If you fuck with me, bitch, I get old, your paycheck. It's just my reflex to reflect and regulate. And go hard on a bitch like Nate. It's great that you wanna take that home on a date. But me, I tell a bitch to get my paper straight. Stack my paper plate. Cause I'm on a paper chase. I'm trying to get that mansion with them iron gates. You get the honey and wanna date her. I get the money out the bitch and then I break her. Ain't nothing to it. I got to do it. That's how a nigga gotta keep this shit in moving. Yeah, I like breaking these bras. I like finessing these bras. The best of the bras. Yeah, y'all, I like finessing these bras. The best of these bras. I like breaking the law. I like breaking the bras. Super flying Snoop, and we done came together and formed a pimp group. Can you imagine Willie Dynamite and Kid do it right in the same house on the same mic on the same night? Man, this bitch is everywhere. With a whole lot of death eyes and a boatload of daddy in. Yeah. And this is dedicated to the players. Keep it pimping on And that was a hot video, you know? But speaking of hotness, I'm actually going to throw it to this classic clip that I have of Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg in the studio. Yeah, we on some West Coast shit, sticky and kicky on some West Coast shit, badass bitches on the Sunset Strip, 105.9, yeah, that's my shit, yeah, I'm on some West Coast shit, yeah, I love that nigga, run your shit. It felt good to me too, that's why I stopped. I was like, God damn. Yep. So what's going on tonight here, Dre? Oh, I'm chilling, man. I'm just uh, reunited with my nigga Snoop. Haven't seen him in a long time. It's like my little brother, man. I love him to death. It feel real good to be back in the lab with my nigga, man, for real. I'm ready to come on here and just like, do whatever I need to do to make sure his next fit is a true success, man, for real. Believe it. Me and the doctor back together again. We're working on something for Buster Rhymes right now. This is Buster Rhymes' B side to his single on his record. So, you know, Doc called me today and said he had some jewels for me, some pieces for me, to, you know, for my record or whatnot. We're trying to finish up the blue carpet treatment. So, once I finish that, I can help him out with his record. And in the meantime, in between time, I'm going to help Buster and whoever else will be on that for that needs some help. And they're going to help me. It's just, we look out for each other. That's how we do. You know, we help each other with the pen, with the thoughts, with everything. Because we love each other. Hey, what's up? That was my man, Molly Ma. But what did you think about that classic clip? Wasn't it dope? Dre, Snoop, I mean, what more can you ask for? I tell you, you can ask for J. Cole. That's right, I'm gonna check the technique. He's gonna ask As soon as I heard that, I said, oh shit, yeah, yeah, hold up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I knew what I was gonna do. I knew I, was, I just needed that dun 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 dun. Then you get. So I'm in the crib. Rocking. Rocking. Oh, and then I added the 808. Rocking, though. I knew. Everything was building, and I knew. 
every step up until it hit a certain point. Like the 808 I knew right away I had to add it. I don't know what this is. Like, it's just like one of those things that's just dope. And I'm like, it's 808, definitely time for the fucking 808. Hey, so we're back. That was my man J. Cole breaking down how he came up with the beat. But anyway, we're gonna go into this other segment. It's called Home Studio. What's up, y'all? This is Jamal Harris. We in South Central LA. Welcome to my home studio. You gotta balance with me. You ain't never worked it off. Check it out, y'all. I got in my home studio the best of the best. I got an Avalon as my compressor. The board I'm using right here is a Control 24 Digi Design with 24 inputs, 24 out, with the focus right inputs and outputs. But, you know, I bypassed those and I, I just got my mic coming straight through the Avalon, which is the uh, uh, S7B microphone that I have going through the interface, which is a Sapphire, you know. And uh, uh, I'm off the Genelec speakers right here, along with the Oxygen controller. I have every sound in the game i built this one myself too y'all all together when i first got it, it the bad boy been going 12 years i paid 60 out the door for it it cost 80 and i got it for 60 that's when i a little friend, I sneak a peek at her little feet. I was like, ugh. But then that nigga like, ugh, them ain't pretty at all. So then, baby girl like, you know my homegirl rap right here. So I'm like, she rap. I'm like, what, she gonna wrap her lips around my dick? And she's like, no, she can really rap. So my song playing, the bitch get in my ear and get to rapping, spitting all on the side of the nigga's face. <laughs> Dusty ass feet rubbing it up against the nigga's sweatpants. I'm like, no, 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 this shit, this, this is a rap. This, this, this is not a This is a rap. Oh man, I done messed around and hit one of these buttons again. But that's okay, because it's the end of the show. So I'd like to thank all of y'all for watching again and, uh, you know, being a part of the movement. And I appreciate everybody that's sending in their studio selfies and sending in their dope beats and everything. You, the public, are making the show what it is on In The Lab. Yeah! I snap my fingers, my whole starts showing mouth. Barracuda bitch, I'll show you what a hoe about. Huh. And more than data, I get the money out the bitch and then I break her. Ain't nothing to it, I got to do it. That's how a nigga gotta keep this shit in moving. Yeah, I like breaking these bras, I like finessing these bras. The best of the bras, yeah, y'all, I like finessing.